All right, you're not going to believe this story. She's a pistol-packing soccer mom who legally carries a firearm. But now her right to bear arms is dividing a community. I'm joined this morning by Melanie Hain and her attorney, Matthew Weisberg. You're joining us this morning from Pennsylvania. Good morning to both of you, the lovely city of Philadelphia where I'm from. Good morning, both of you. Happy Good morning. Holidays. Happy holidays to you. Okay, Melanie, first of all, I have to ask you, what kind of a gun do you carry and how often do you carry it? It's a Glock 26. And you'd never and leave the house I... without it? No. So even when you're running out to go to a soccer game, is this where this might have caused a bit of controversy in your community? You, you, you run back into the house, you grab your Glock, you run to the soccer game. Um, what sorts of things have you been hearing from the community about this? They think it's extreme? Yes. Okay. They don't think you would need it at a soccer game. And why do you think you need it at a soccer game? Uh, because I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, I have to ask you, Matt, what sort of things are you hearing legally? I mean, she has a legal right to carry this, but in a community where they see, you know, parents and kids are having fun at a soccer game, they look over and they see Melanie with a gun on her hip. Is it a little disconcerting for other families? What sorts of legal ramifications is she facing? Well, uh, I think it's important to note that this is not necessarily a right to carry case or a Second Amendment case. It's uh, absolutely clear uh, nationally, especially in Pennsylvania, that Melanie has a right to do what she did. It was the sheriff's action in prosecuting her uh, knowingly uh, that she had this right, but trying to please his constituents' concerns. Now, whether those concerns are valid or not are for a judge uh, and for due process. We're all entitled to due process, right or wrong. Uh, but what the sheriff did was uh, act unilaterally, um, uh, took away her due process and took away her right to carry. Well, even, you know, according to the Philadelphia Inquirer, and there are a lot of people who are actually up in arms about this, and in fact, I want to point this out to our viewers, ardent gun uh, gun advocates who really believe in gun rights are actually up in arms about this. And I'll, let me read you something that the Brady Center uh, said about all of this, because they said the Brady Center to prevent gun violence said their senior their senior attorney said this is a case that calls out for common sense and sanity. It's an incredible risk to bring a loaded semi-automatic weapon to a children's soccer game. Melanie, what do you say to the Brady Center? The Brady Center is anti-gun. Period. I think it's important to note that, uh, as Melanie said, where that source is coming from, the Brady Center is, is ardently anti-gun. Um, uh, my client had worn uh, that gun to soccer games for a year prior without incident. Uh, so in that year, there were no problems. It just happened to be that one day where one person who has since regretted his concern uh, who voiced uh, that concern uh, to the chief law enforcement officer in that community, which is the sheriff. And the sheriff, instead of bringing this to a hearing, uh, took away her gun uh, uh, to please uh, that one constituent. Uh, and in fact, uh, the judge who gave my client back her right uh, uh, has told the sheriff uh, that she has that right, and the sheriff uh, has con uh, continued to say he would do it again. Melanie, I want to give you the final word here. Do you think that it's, do you think it's appropriate? Should all Americans be armed at all times? Do you think that would cut down on the level of violence in this country? If they are able to lawfully own a firearm, uh, the Second Amendment is pretty clear. Right. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed upon. Melanie Hain and uh, Matt Weisberg, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you, and have a happy holidays. Thank you for days. having us. Thank you.